shooting this to show you a bit of the uh, area I'm using it in. Give you an idea of oh. down there. You might just be able to make out Manchester. This is the Pennines. There's a lot of elevation. So let's have a look at the range I've done about. Well, there we go. 16 mile and I've got 63% left and I've probably climbed a good thousand feet in that time so it's doing okay Right, I'm back from the uh, blast round the bows. Uh, it was only on time out today because I was interested to see what the range would be like just on road, you know, long road ship. And just under 26 miles, what's that in kilometres? About just over 31 kilometres, isn't it? Excuse me, mental arithmetic. And I'm on 54%. Now, obviously, the drop-off isn't linear, but I think I'd have probably squeezed about 35 miles out of this today. Um, I'll try and insert and edit a few trips and saved, which are on rough tracks, climbing over moorland, which are on an app. I'll try and insert them in, into the edit, if I can manage it. Now, I had a few questions on the first build, saying people had trouble fitting this motor to the uh, Carrera frame. And I neglected to mention on my initial video, this torque bar, which as you can see, isn't on the bike. Now, it wouldn't go in, but it's probably a 10 millimeter gap to get to the mountain holes. I could have packed this out with washers, but then, I don't know, is it a dust cap cover on the crank here? That would only bite two or three turns on the thread. So, obviously I've not fitted it, and the motor hasn't budged. So you will get away without using that. Well, you will on this frame, I can't guarantee on anything else. but. Yep, that's done all right. Um, oh, this is just to stop the muck clocking up my connector and my fuse. That was getting caked in mud, mud guards or not. Now, because they do make you more adventurous in the sort of trails and places you ride, and the first thing that showed up on a, an old four-year-old bike like this was the old spring forks. I was getting bounced around like billy -o. I was knocked off once or twice. So, I've got these budget gas forks. These are made by Airbrake. And they was uh, £109. Which is, what, €120, Euros, $130. I'm not sure the exchange rate, but... They're not competition. But they've stopped me bouncing around on a pogo stick over tree roots and all that. I'm not going to be racing competitions and what have you, but that was uh, that was good. Now, after I'd put the forks on, I was noticing the brakes were not charging down. You need decent brakes. This did have good brakes for road use. There was disc, um, mechanical disc brakes. But I've um, got these little 
beauty there. It's actually hydraulic, but it's cable operated. Now, a basic Shimano's not much more, but I then had a bit of spent money on hydraulic sensors, whereas they had the mechanical ones. So I didn't want to do that. So I've, uh, I've compromised and gone for these and I'd say they improved my braking 20 odd percent. And it was 45 pounds for a pair of these x -Tech mechanical brakes. I uh, put them front and back, they're easy to fit. No trouble routing cables. And uh, they've probably done 100 miles now, so uh, we'll see how they get on. Um, oh, what else did I do? Right. I did mention in the first video, we had uh, a lot of problems with trains slipping, which everyone gets to do, don't they? Now, with the original gear set, and a 42, 44 tooth that comes with a bafang, I didn't have a problem, but I did put a new cassette on the back for them lower gears, and I was having a hell of a problem with chain coming off. So I got the 36 bling ring from Lecker. They're expensive, aren't they? But I put that there because I was paranoid with a chain slip. Couple of links out, an extender on the derailleur, and it hasn't come off. I've lost a little bit of top end uh, on the original setup for the 44 and the 9. I did get 40 mile an hour downhill. I've gone down to about 32 mile an hour down the same hill today, so uh, it's not a problem, is it? Really losing that much speed. But yeah, so the initial outlay has gone up a trifle, but they always do little projects like this. But yeah, bear that in mind if you're thinking of doing it and you're going on a few tracks. If it's commuting, just do it, swap it, change it, you'll have no problems. But I'll try and insert into the video a few of the places I've been on it. Um, and you'll, you know, demanding sort of stuff, steeple climbs on riverbanks. That sort of thing, over the moors. Yeah, on an old bike, you'll see the deficiencies show themselves. But, yeah. Things are going great. Let's power up. And... Uh, 435 mile. Maximum speed, 35. That's on the new chain ring. Average 9.6 today, so yeah, great. If you're thinking of doing getting it done, you'll have a belt in time. I've, I've done more exercise than I've done in ages. All right, catch you again. If out breaks, I'll do another video. <laughs> All right, catch you later.